Hey guys, welcome to part two of uh, CWB Rule Breakers. Um, yeah, so let's get on with this. Um, here, we're here. He gets a charge on my calf, and I wasn't expecting it, so he did actually manage to take out some of my calf. So I kind of do the surrounding type maneuver, sort of, not really, but I do send a unit of legionary firsts. Here they go. Uh, and they start throwing Pila. Some of them get hooked up on these urbans that are... Oops, sorry. Some of them get hooked up on these urbans that are right here. But for the most part, most of them get over here, and that saves my calf. And on this wing, he also charges me. And again, some of my urbans get snagged on his... Or some of my Praetorians get snagged on his urbans. I don't know how they managed to uh, win, but somehow they did, so... Honestly, I'm not going to complain. That's pretty cool. Um, so I, I don't know why I didn't press these guys in sooner. But anyway, my archers are having a fight with these guys. It looks like he's getting shot. His uh, scorpions are getting shot by my archers. I didn't pay attention to them once the battle started because they weren't very important. At least not in my book. So... The enemy general is running away! Oh yeah, I route his general the and then general kill him. Because he was with these Praetorians over here. To press the attack. So, my cav... Actually, his whole infantry line just breaks at this point. Um, I don't know how or why. Maybe he just didn't upgrade as well. Um, okay, sorry about the pause there. Okay, sorry about the pause there. I was getting some much-needed information. Um, here, I wasn't paying attention to my cav. My cav ended up most of, the, most of them got slaughtered over on this side um, but yeah I, I unknowingly engaged this general unit um, and I actually got a whole bunch of kills on them and then I ended up getting routed by his archers they shot me so um, but here I move my infantry over to support D dog but I, then I take another look and it's pretty obvious that he doesn't need any help here so the rest of the video is just basically me mopping up his archers and then helping D-Dog out with whatever I can. Well, actually, I don't really have to help him out. Um, but here, my cab and his cab and his archers are just mixing it up. Just, and that was completely without my knowledge. Because I was pursuing his general, I guess. Yeah, but here all my units are out. But it's okay, because um, I got a lot of kills, so... Um, yeah. Here I have my, um, infantry lining up to help D-Dog, still not realizing that he's got this completely under control. If you look down here, it's pretty obvious who's gonna win this one. His urbans are hopelessly outnumbered. They're getting hacked from all sides. It says distraught over number of enemies. They're still fresh, or they're still eager, though. Happy to see enemy routing. They're wavering, shaken, yeah, they're, they're about to go. And those archers aren't really much of a threat at this point. They're just, um, there. So, uh, as you can see, he's a couple of his units came back. They won't last for long against any sustained attack. And at this point, um, it, it's pretty much over here. He's, uh, there's nothing much left of him to bury here. So, um... It, it seems that Reborius put up a little bit more of a fight. And, um... After, or about a couple, maybe a minute or two after I routed his in frontline infantry and his cav, um, uh, Jorik said something to the effect of how, how the heck did my, my army route so fast? Now, he laced that with expletives, but, um, for the sake of our younger audiences, I prefer not to add them. Um, Yeah. And it's not to say that I can't say explosives, because I can, and sometimes I do. Um, it's just that for the sake of our younger audiences, like I said, I would rather not include them. It just makes it just makes you sound bad, you know? Like, you think you're bad and stuff. I, I just really don't want to... I don't want to portray that kind of image. Um, not to say that everyone cusses does that. But, you know. Okay. Now I'm just rambling. Um, over here, this is Reborius' general unit. Has his general died yet? 
Nope, his general's still there. I think they might route. Or maybe he shoots him. He's shooting with fire arrows. I hadn't actually seen this part. I wasn't aware that Reborius was shooting. Well, here he's shooting what appears to be some urbans that are routing. Reborius, pretty much his whole army is just gone now, too. He has some units of archers that he keeps in skirmish, so they keep running away from people. But there goes a big chunk of Reborius's calf. I don't know whether he, um, he accidentally did that, or whether it was on purpose. They weren't actually routed. If you looked at their flag, you might want to go back, but I'm pretty sure their flag wasn't routed, so... I don't know why they, um, ran away. Here I have my archers in a clump. I probably shouldn't have done that. But I'm shooting at these guys who were shooting my calf. So I'm peppering these guys with fire. Here my Praetorians are mixing it up with his Archer Auxilia. And my archers are getting some good shots on these guys. It's three units versus a heavily depleted one. It's no contest. It's who's going to win here. Um... And in the back here, we're. Uh, in the back here, uh. Uh, D Dog is just mopping up the last of Reborius. But yeah, he, here he has his archers in skirmish. But they're already shaken and they're tired. Steady and shaken, I guess. Shaken, tired, steady, whatever. But the edge of the map isn't far off. It's right here. They get to the edge and either. I think, uh. Reborius just gives up. He's like, there's no hope, screw this. Um, but I do manage to get all of um, uh, Jorik's units before uh, Reborius gives up. So I think they route in just a minute. They're running away, and my archers just have a heyday. It's, it's pretty much over now. Actually, it's been that way for quite a while. This this is really just the mop up. So here they run away. Retreat! Retreat! Fall back! Head for the hill! Head for the hill! Pull back! I don't know why they do that because they're still not routing. They're wavering now. I think they route in just a minute. Broken. Now they're routing. The enemy army is in flight. The last Pursue one. them and drive them from and the battlefield. And I think I run those guys down. There's like none left. Total revenge on those guys. And. Yeah, and just a second, Reborius admits defeat. Or as I call it, commit suicide. Um, but here's the last of Reborius' army, and um, they're very tired. They're all very tired, actually. But they get kind of stuck up against the border and shroud, I think. I would have just done a final charge, just been like... So, they're running, and then it'll show up on the top, up here, the player has admitted defeat in just a second. Or I can swear he does. Yeah, there we go. Demands victory from her generals, and this day is clearly so, yeah, definitely victory. good game to D-Dog. Um, good game to Reborius and Jorik, despite our disagreement. Um, so yeah, I got the most kills by, like, I don't know. Uh... Like, less than 20, but still, it's most kills. I I deployed the most men, actually, because I brought four units of uh, Legionary first, and he only brought three. So, he had slightly less men than me. Um, and these guys had less because they didn't even bring a full roster. Kind of dumb, in my opinion, but whatever. Um, just really quickly before I have to... Or before this stops recording, I have the free version of Bandicam, so it only records for max of 10 minutes. So, I don't get much time. So, casualties inflicted. I think my best one was this unit of Praetorian Cav. Or this unit of Praetorian Cav, excuse me. Uh, 141 kills. This unit had 123. This unit of Urban's got 77. Um, this unit got 101 of Praetorian Cav. Um, 98 for this Archer Auxilia. Um, so yeah, good game to D-Dog, Reborius, and all those.